busy day in the ED and you're shown an ECG from a patient in triage. You notice that leads V1 and V2 have an RSR prime pattern followed by saddleback ST elevation. So you ask yourself, could this be Brugada? Brugada syndrome is caused by a right ventricular sodium channelopathy that is temperature sensitive. This produces a distinctive ECG pattern in the right ventricular leads, V1 and V2, made worse by fever or sodium channel blockade. Brugada syndrome can lead to syncope or sudden cardiac death, but can be prevented by an ICD, so making the diagnosis can save a life. But seeing the pattern on ECG is not the same as diagnosing the syndrome in a patient. The question, is this Brugada, is actually a series of three questions. First, does the ECG have a Brugada pattern? You can't rely on computer interpretation because it can miss these patterns or mislabel them as STEMI but you can identify them using your own ECG interpretation. There are two patterns to look for in the right ventricular leads V1 and V2. Type 1 is an RS complex followed by a coved ST elevation that descends into an inverted and symmetric T wave. Type 2 is an RSR prime complex with saddleback ST elevation and a positive T wave. Type 1 is specific for Brugada pattern, but type 2 can also be seen with lead misplacement or normal variance. Lead misplacement is much more common than Brugada syndrome and can easily be identified by looking at the P wave, which is normally biphasic in V1 and fully upright in V2. If the P wave is fully negative in V1 or not fully upright in V2, then the leads are too high which can produce an RSR prime pattern with saddleback ST elevation, which resolves with correct lead placement. If the P waves are normal, the next step involves drawing a triangle whose peak is the R prime and whose base is five millimeters below. If the triangle base is wide at greater than four millimeters, this identifies type two brigada. And if the triangle base is narrow, it is a normal variant. If the ECG has a brigada pattern, the second question is, does the patient have a Brugada phenocopy? These are reversible conditions unrelated to fever or sodium channel blockade that can mimic Brugada pattern but resolve with treatment in a patient without symptoms of Brugada syndrome. This includes metabolic conditions that alter conduction like hyperkalemia, mechanical compression of the right ventricle like tension in thorax, or ischemia in the V1 to V3 distribution like from a PE or an anterior wall MI. For example, if the patient presents with weakness after missing dialysis, and they have Brugada pattern in addition to wide QRS and PT waves, then they have a Brugada phenocopy induced by hyperkalemia, and they need immediate calcium, not an ICD. The ECG has a Brugada pattern, and the patient does not have a Brugada phenocopy. Then the third question is, do they have symptoms of Brugada syndrome? The diagnosis of Brugada syndrome requires a type 1 pattern, or type 2 that converts to type 1 with sodium channel blockade. Management depends on symptoms, including syncope, nocturnal agonal breathing, or resuscitated rest. Patients presenting with these symptoms require an ICD, while those incidentally found to have Brugada syndrome can be referred to an electrocardiologist, and all patients should treat fevers and avoid sodium channel blockers. So back to that ECG you were given on the patient in triage with saddleback ST elevation and V1 to V2. You can ask yourself three questions. One, is there a Brugada pattern on ECG or is it simple lead misplacement with negative P waves or a normal variant with a narrow triangle base? Two, if there is a Brugada pattern on ECG, does the patient have any reversible causes of Brugada phenocopy that need to be immediately treated like hyperkalemia or ischemia? And three, if there's a Brugada pattern, but no Brugada phenocopy, then does the patient have symptomatic Brugada syndrome requiring ICD, or do they just need referral to an electrocardiologist? With these three questions, you can identify Brugada pattern, treat reversible causes, and ensure safe follow-up. For multiple examples of Brugada pattern, phenocopy, and syndrome, see the recent ECG case blog on EM cases and help prevent sudden cardiac death.